So, all right. Once again, not perfect. Can't expect perfection. I guess it could. But you ain't going to get it if you're asking me to do it. All right. Hey, it's Matt Wagon's Garage. As you can tell, the wagon's behind us. We're working on the wagon today. So, what we're going to work on today is, as you saw in the last video, if you watched the last one, we're putting floors in the wagon or finished, just finished putting the floor in. Um, but now we still have one last thing to do. We're going to finish making this tunnel patch, which I've started today. Figured y'all might want to see where we're at. We're going to pull that back out. So we finished making that tunnel patch and we're going to weld it in, modify it, uh, you know, whatever. We cut that thing down on my little, um, what's that thing called? Um, bandsaw bandsaw that's what it's called so we cut it down on the bandsaw and then we're also gonna so we're gonna finish up that patch and we're gonna install a shifter or at least we're gonna get it as finished as a blind guy can get it so that means i'm gonna do a couple spot welds in it and get it set down nice where we want it and then jason will come back and seam weld it done so let's get started all right a little dark in here so let's get over here to where we got some light so here's our patch here's our hole I can still see a transmission in there. Hmm. Let's fix that problem. All right. Well, it's time now. We've got our panel installed. We've got a bunch of spot holes in it all the way around it. We're going to spot weld it in. And we might attempt to stitch it in or seam it. We'll see. I ain't decided yet. I'm not the greatest seam welder. So, um, but yeah, let's, let's start there. And, uh, yeah, bring it back once we uh, accomplish something. Uh, today, it's just me. So. If you see some ugly welds where our previous ones haven't been so bad, you'll know why. All right, y'all, I hope that's a good view. I wasn't even gonna bring you in for this, but you know, what the heck. So we'll start by saying I don't have the right welding attire. I got my dimming glasses that I wear when I'm working with somebody uh, who's welding and got a torch. Let's get to work. Probably should be putting my gloves on about right now. What y'all think? Already have a fail. Huh. All right. Attempt number two. <coughs> That's nice and stinky. That was a little ugly, but it worked. Of course I moved. Yeah, that's what happens. Told y'all I'm not the best welder. But, I'll be strong, that's all that really matters. Good to me. Let's check to make sure nothing's on fire under there. Oh, it's a little ugly. Let's fix it. terrible all right well we fixed a small burn but i'm gonna keep welding on it and uh I'll bring y'all back when i'm done all right well we got the weld you got the plate welded in i'm not gonna zoom in too far for you because i don't want you to actually see it i don't really care yes my welds are ugly we know this I and mean, then you can see right you can see right here got a couple good st seam stitches 
lots of good spot welding. I've ground a lot of them down. Uh, there's a, it looks like I missed a little hole right there. Oops. Uh, burned right there just a little bit, and then it's got a good seam right beside it. You know, it is what it is. I'm not the best welder. Never claimed to be. Not going to claim to be. Don't want to be a welder. Uh, that's what Jason's for. Just kidding. He's not a welder either, but he's better than I am, obviously. So, there it is. So now, let's get this shifter installed. And then uh, tomorrow, he's going to come by, and we're going to seam seal it. Actually, first thing i got to do is uh, shoot some primer on that. So, I'll be right back. All right. Well, there we are. One can of primer and one can of Rust-Oleum Protective Flat Enamel. Yeah, the good stuff. Really expensive. Like $2 a can. I don't know exactly, but something like that. And here we are. Full paint floorboards. There might be a dry spot or two. Ignore them if there is. And uh, there it is. It actually has a full floor in it now that's painted. So now we're going to do one more coat. Of course, we'll have to let that dry up for oh, 15, 20 minutes. And uh, then we'll do another coat. So bring it back then. All right, here we are. The so next day, we'll let these floors cure up. And here's where we ended up at. If I got a dry spot, I'm sorry, but I think it's gonna look pretty good. You can see all of our welds, unfortunately. Yeah, some buying some bitch did that one, obviously. And that one. And then some unknowing welding sucker did these. Hey, a dang, a decent welder did those over there, though. Yeah. So, it's a learning curve for everybody. So this is done. Floor's not going anywhere. Floor's done. It's painted, ready to go. Yeah, what's that? I don't know what that is. Um, now it's time to install a shifter. All right. Well, I don't have the camera with me right this particular second, but we'll lean in here and take a look at what I've been working on. Here we go. Got seam sealer laid in the doors. They don't look awful. Not perfect, but it don't look awful. That's all that matters, is that it doesn't look awful. Still got to do that back. Oh, this back seam I've already done. This is the other side I haven't done. So we, we had to do a patch right there, so I overlaid it pretty thick and heavy. Trying to make this trough as smooth and as a transition as possible for the wine harness to roll through. And you'll see there's a patch over there. That light's kind of in our view. Let's try to zoom you in over there. There you go. And I haven't finished because I ran out of sealer. I'm not out, but I'm out of the tube. And I've got a big mess, so we're going to let it dry up before we do any more. So there she is. So then we'll get back to that shifter install. Yep, so then we'll get back to the shifter install. And hopefully, by the end of this video, these floors will be done. Because I can't really do anything else with the car until these floors are done. And I hope I got the shifter in the right position. Either way, I ain't got no seats I'm waiting on those to get here. Hopefully, I'll be going to get those Monday. So, either way, bring you back. All right. So, uh, yeah, I was supposed to bring the camera back, not come to the shop, just started working and completely forgot the camera. So, uh, let's show you what we've done so far. Yes, I got the headlamp on. You know, it looks goofy and, well, hey, I can't be all, no uglier as it is. So, let's just jump on in here and take a look at it. So, let's look in here. I'll turn the light on for you. Just didn't want to shine you in the eyeballs. There we go. Look at that. That should be plenty of light to show us what's going on. All right. So, as you can tell, I've kilt spent all the way around the trans tunnel. Um, trans tunnel's covered uh, all the way down the drive shaft tube right here. Now, for the shifter, um, as some of you may have noticed, there was a hole drilled right here for a shifter cable to come through. I guess that's where the previous owner had it. It did not work for this shifter. This shifter's kind of mounting it right here. So, I covered it with kilt mat. The hole's still there, as you can see the outline for it right there. And then right here, there is another hole we just drilled. First hole. Wrapped the kilt mount around it, rolled it down, shifter's installed. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, two, one, all done. And, huh, I had a smartness. Let's actually put my foot on the brake. Just in case that cable is not just a pro perfectly. <sighs> Park. Reverse. Drive. Neutral. Reverse. Drive. Park. Turn the headlamp off. 
All right, but all worked out good. Let's climb out of here. And uh, oh yeah, and we got all the seam sealer done. Hold on, let me turn around again. All right, and we got all the seam sealer done and I've painted the seam sealer that we've did here. So it's seam sealed all the way around. There's some under the quilts mat, which I've covered up. You can see it right here again, how it comes back up. Yes, there's dust all on the floor from my feet as it's muddy and raining outside. Seam sealer all the way around, same thing on the other side. There's lots of trash and stuff in the car currently. Let's see, get all this crap out of the way. There you go. Seam sealer all the way around. I think it looks pretty good. Now, so uh, I guess that uh, is gonna finish up this video. Um, uh, so shifter, the floor's done. Only thing we have left to do, I guess the floor's not completely done, but it's pretty done. All we have left to do now is to finish mat, uh, with the kilts mat throughout the floor. And uh, I may or may not bring you back on the camera for that. We have a new project car coming in. It's a buddy of mine's uh, 69 Chevelle also. My cousin keeps calling me the Chevelle guy. And I told him, hey, it's better than being the cruise guy or the explorer guy. So, you know. Um, but it's a 69 Chevelle. It's getting a, uh, five, he wants to put a Stone Stock 5.3 in it, 4L60E. Uh, on a factory tune, we're going to probably use an aftermarket wiring harness and everything else is going to be a factory truck set up. Um, you know, 345, 355 horse, something like that. Nothing special. But I'll show you that in the next video. So uh, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, if you like the content, like I said, I answer all the comments, uh, questions, concerns, thoughts. And uh, yeah, it's cold, wet, raining. So for the time being, I guess I'm just going to do some random nonsense um and then uh, we'll bring you back once we're working on the next car next project next thing so hope y'all enjoyed the video if you got any questions for me let me know later